Spend my whole check at Whole Food. Yeah, she's still texting old dude. Need gas money like a ride home. I want smoke when I arrive home. On and on, you say. Something about brunch on a Sunday. Marachino cherries on my Sundays. Where my mind goes in my head, cause I'm not really one for the gunplay anyway. Yeah, I'm sure you cool. I'm sure that you probably sweet. The barbecue, I heard of who is in the room. I'm probably out, it's way past two. I'ma hit you up in the afternoon. Otherwise, I'ma just see you soon. <laughs> Tell the truth, I don't know you. Either way, I'ma be on the couch. You gotta do your hair first and then we'll put your clothes on, okay? Gotta do your hair. You gotta do your hair first. You gotta do your hair first. You gotta do your hair first. You want what? Hey! That's your tank top. You're gonna do your hair. What do you wanna do to your hair? Do you wanna put two? I don't want to do my hair. Oh! Who are you talking to? Ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. What? Don't say what. What did I teach you about that? No, ma'am. Put that thing back on. We're gonna go do your hair. No. Put that thing for back on. Rosa, help me. Rosa, help me. Rosa, help me. Rosa, help me. Which one do you want to do? Twisties? Yeah. Twisties. No. Oh. I don't know Stop before you break that. Do your hair. No. I Put your tank top back on. Okay. You gotta do your hair. It's me. When I was little, uh, uh, it's me in the flesh. Flesh? Yeah, flesh. Okay. I came back again. Mm -hmm. I look like you. What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, all right. Yep. Raw. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go do your hair. This would be my second cup of coffee for the day. Tomorrow we will be doing um, smoothie. Yeah, I'll take a break from this, but second cup of the day. Zahara's hair. I think I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm not even gonna lie to you because this stuff is just it literally looks like my fro. It's growing so much, but we just took it out of the plaits that I had in. So I'm gonna just I think I'm gonna do either two little buns or two little ponytails in the back out, like how I did it. I'm gonna do a TikTok right here, so she's waving to my phone. I was gonna film our she in <coughs> tonight, but we'll see. I need to to knock out two videos but let me tell you how i've been feeling because i mean it just seems like every day like the days i know time doesn't exist but man i be trying to beat the clock i have to get up early but by the time i'm like filming editing and stuff like that the day be over okay Planito. as designers entrepreneurs or if you're a creator Holy. it's super important to like focus on income generating activities especially as an entrepreneur i know you can get caught up into like oh. social media oh, like content creation and stuff like that because i have as well but i always have to remind myself that I need to focus on my business, my services, and my in income generating streams, um, the things that I'm doing to generate income. I do brand partnerships and like different free work, freelance work. But as an entrepreneur, like, I want to just like touch on like some of the income generating activities that you can do or should be doing. I feel like you should be doing throughout the day to like help generate income, especially like as an entrepreneur. And this can apply to entrepreneurs or fashionpreneurs, whatever. Emails. 
Oh, that thing is so spraying. <laughs> when I had Timeless Takara, that was my way of promoting my products or just staying in touch with my customers. And that is through sending out emails. I think people don't realize like the power in sending out emails and also setting up some type of like text message sending because most people are on their phones. So that is a great way to sell your products. As you guys can see, you know, Fashion Nova and all of them are always sending out texts on a day. Another great way you can generate income is through Instagram DMs. And I think this is something that people skip over as well. Since I'm a content creator and brand deals are always kind of like up and downs, another way I make an income is through affiliate marketing. So you guys see me do a lot of like styling videos on my social media. And I also have like a like to know it, which I will link below, which is basically like affiliate marketing. So I feel like I gave this example before, but if I was working at Dillard's or I was to recommend you a product and you ended up using my link or you came up and I checked you out, then I would get a commission off of it. So that's basically what affiliate marketing is. I promote other people's products, other businesses' products, and I get a percentage off of driving the traffic to their product or website and I get paid at the end of the month. I am also a part of Amazon's affiliate, but Amazon's affiliate isn't, I feel like it's not as much. Like you have to like really recommend a lot of products to make a lot of money off Amazon. But yeah, that's why I love like, like to know it because you can do like more styling and do more big ticketed items. Back to what I was saying about the Instagram DMs. A new thing that a lot of creators are doing now is instead of just putting the link on your Instagram and when you style something or wear something or do an OOTD, you can actually tell them to DM you and that way you can directly send them the link to the DM and your conversion rate is more likely to be higher when you do that because the DMs are more personal. A lot of Gen Z is using DMs like in stories. It's like the main place that people are. A lot of the teens nowadays don't really use text messaging and even me like for millennials I'm always on like Instagram and stuff like that and I'm more likely to see like my public DMs. That is another daily income generating thing you can do as a content creator or a fashion designer trying to sell as an entrepreneur or to sell your own products is selling in the DMs. And if you actively do that, you can really get some clients, okay? So as a fashion designer, a fashion teacher, and a content creator, I tend to sometimes get caught up so much in content creation a lot and not really the business side because there's like the business side and then there's the content creation side. I always have to make sure I delegate the time to like pitch myself when it comes to content creation and take time out to focus on the things that are going to help me to generate income because a lot of the times I get so many emails but I have to get on the emails and I have to respond back. I have to pick out my five foundation shade um so that they can send it to me and then today I the other day I had to like do a contract and then there's still some other applications that I have to fill out and then there's people that I want to pitch as well so I just have to remind myself to delegate and plan out my days because I'm still trying to do the business side while doing the creating side so it's a balance of both I try not to get too distracted and focus on the income generating ones as well as creating the content so I'm gonna bring you along later with me because because I actually need to buy the fabric for my sewing academy. So that way I can get started on actually filming for the sewing academy. I need to film the first course and the introduction for the course. And I'm also doing like a free trial run for anybody who isn't sure if they want to join. So I have to film that stuff. So it might take away time from content creation, but I'm just trying to balance both. But I need to buy that fabric. Ooh, this stuff smells so good. And I'm using the Brigio Curl Charisma Rice and Avocado Leave-In Cream on her hair. This is actually mine. I'm using it on her hair as well. Mm -hmm. 
So another income generating activity is of course social media. You guys know creating content is going to help you to find your prospects and generate lead and convert your customers over, but you have to find your target audience. I know you guys know the like logistics of like filming content, but what I really want to hop into is like one of the key things that helped me generate so much money. And I learned this from what's her name? Six figure chick Cece. I don't know if you guys heard of her rest in peace to her but she years ago when she first got onto like digital products she talked about going live and how powerful going live is with your products or your digital products or whatever you're promoting and again going live is a great way to build that stronger connection with your target audience and to get people to trust you and what i would do is live shopping parties if you're an og and you used to watch this channel a couple years back when i had thomas takara up which is coming back soon don't worry I just took a break because I'm focusing on Academy. <laughs> Literally me having a boutique and having a value proposition such as selling the clothes and letting you see the clothes through live shopping. I started doing live shopping way before it's, it became like a big thing now where it's like integrated into different apps. Doing that, I realized how powerful it was and I'm so excited to get back into my live shopping parties. They were so much fun. They were so interactive and overall an experience and that's what made my vintage boutique because there's a lot of reasons sellers there was a lot of vintage boutiques but I, I believe that is what made mine stand out the most now you guys see i don't know if you've seen i'm gonna actually put the video up here the people in china i think it, it became like super big overseas before it kind of came over here to the u.s live shopping like people live shopping but i can't remember what the statistic was or what it was about but it's like this lady she literally holds the bags and the shoes and the products up for like one second she drops it and she moves on to the next thing and it's like this interactive live where she's like boop I'm gonna insert the video here. It's actually insane. I think they said like she makes like millions off of just like one lot, which is freaking insane. So do not underestimate the power of selling through live, okay? Over the holidays when we went to my cousin's house, which her house is so freaking beautiful and so inspiring. That's me what I do to Zahara's hair. She's like, you detangle it every day? And I don't detangle it every day. But this is one of those days where I am. I had been like actually like blow drying her hair. And I don't know, what do you think? Do you think it's better to like blow dry a kid's hair and then like let them wear it blow dry? I'm not flat ironing it no time soon, but I have blow dried it and did the twisties. And I, both, I like both looks, but I really love her curly hair. And I feel like she's always so much more confident when she's wearing her hair curly. It's so cute Ooh, i let her wear it curly on the holidays and it came out so freaking cute it's grown so much besides the fact that she actually chopped off the front part of her hair when i had it in twisty she chopped a half of one of her little twisties so it's like now she has like every time i put her hair in little twisties in the front it's always like this so i have to like group it the hairs together girl it's a mess <laughs> It's a new day, same hairstyle, a new day. And I did put a little bit of makeup on, but I am now about to do one of my income producing activities. Of course, I am gonna be having a compilation, compilation of courses inside of Sew Design Academy, which is my sewing school, sewing, fashion design, and marketing school, online school, where you guys will be able to join. So it's gonna be a sewing membership. And by next week, I need to go ahead and start filming at least the introduction in the first course so i'm ordering the fabric that i need in the course i wasn't gonna tell you guys at first but y'all are y'all are my like ride or die so i'm gonna tell y'all y'all are gonna see it anyways once i upload courses onto the membership so the first thing that i'm ordering for is a phone case holder i already went to staples and i ended up getting the patterns that i'm actually going to be giving away for free in the membership there's going to be a new course that drops every month i am I'm currently on Joanne Fabrics website. I'm ordering on Joanne's fabric just to save me some time. And that's another thing that I want to talk about when it comes to income generating activities for your business or as a fashion designer or creative entrepreneur is to delegate your time or find somebody that can do certain tasks for you. So I could have actually had somebody doing this for me, but at the moment I haven't found a team, but finding a team is going to help you to get things 
done as a CEO that you need to be doing and things that you need to be focusing on that's going to produce the income. I feel like a lot of people kind of get the two mixed up as far as like being busy and be pr being productive and you want to be productive not just being busy all the time and then it's like you feel like you've done all this work but you haven't made any income for the day. So that's why you want to show up and either be the forefront of your business so that way you can generate income and focus more on the producing income tasks more than just the keeping busy in your business and then not seeing any income at the end of the month or for your daily goals. So I was going to go into Joanne's Fabrics and order all the materials that I needed for my courses but I thought it would be fun to actually go on joannesfabrics.com and order them from home. It's going to save me a lot of time. My Joanne's Fabric is across town and I want to look on Mood Fabrics as well to see if I can find some different fabrics to work with within the course. I'm going to just screen record and I'm going to share some of the stuff that I've already put in my cart from Joanne. So I do have an actual account with Joanne's Fabric. If you have an account on joannesfabric.com, you can save a lot of fabrics that you may be thinking about buying. You can do like a wish list. There's deals off when you shop online and you have the app. I pretty much kind of like know what types of fabrics and like the look and the feel of them. Even though I do like to like feel certain fabrics, see if it fits. I kind of know my fabric so I'm pretty confident when it comes to shopping online for fabric and getting the feel of what it will look like and if it doesn't look the way that I want to I will just go to the store and possibly return it I believe that you can do that as well first let me tell y'all what we're going to be creating I am going to be doing a phone holder case in one of my courses actually just like kind of put different prints that I would maybe want let me see if I can get the whole so I put like different prints in here that I possibly maybe would want to work with when it comes to my phone case holder. I also did, I don't know why it's not letting me go to my favorites. So I saved a bunch of different stuff like, cause I'm not really sure the vibe that I wanna go for my phone case holder. There's so many different vibes that I can go for. I don't know if I wanna do something bright or something neutral that I'll wear every day. Like this is out of stock. Um, but I don't know there's so many different options but I'm definitely going to be using a cotton print fabric um because I feel like a phone case holder is still something like fashionable and something you can clip on your hip and yeah I just thought that was pretty different and like an easy project for anybody who's trying to learn how to sew like as a beginner even though in my membership I'm going to be doing fashion it's all about fashion sewing I still wanted to start off with easy projects when you're trying to learn how to sew you don't want to just hop right into the hard projects of like trying to make up your first piece of clothing when you're trying to sew so I did get some little hook and swivels to put on the um phone case holder so you can attach it to different things or you can attach it to your like your bag or your purse also in the membership i'm going to be doing some type of tote bag so i wanted to go with something neutral i am going to be using cotton canvas which is kind of like a tote bag material so i don't know what color i want to do i don't know if i should do like brown black red i want to make it like it's unisex for like both parties in the membership you're going to be able to use like, whatever print or fabric that you want to well print i want fabric you want to use the same type of fabric that i use but any print yeah so i'm i'm debating on which color i want to use i feel like i'm leaning more toward red or black we shall see i also got some cotton belting in here if i decide that i want to put belting on the tote bag and make it more structured i haven't decided yet but yeah and then i'm also getting some more interfacing so we can use in the phone holder case and i'm also going to be doing an ear case holder as well and then i'm trying to think of what type of material i want for the pajamas that we're also going to be doing in one of the courses in the membership because i am going to be doing a like pajama course later on in the memberships i'm thinking about inserting a scrunchie into one of the courses that will be in the membership as well i have to get this task done today though because i've been like definitely procrastinating when it comes to order ordering this fabric okay for some reason i like really really like this concept of like these big roses on like a scrunchie i feel like that would look so cute with so many different outfits um, and of course it says it's out of stock. Great. This is so cute. I wonder if they have something similar. 
I'm gonna try to find like something similar because I feel like this would be super cute as like a scrunchie. I don't know why. Okay, before I take my daughter outside real quick, I just want to show y'all everything that I've gotten so far. So the first thing we got was the gray gingham super snuggle flannel, which I'm going to be using for the pajamas. Um, so I got four yards of that. And then I got some small swivel hooks and D rings. I got two of those. I do have in my Amazon cart some split key rings and some nylon zippers because I'm going to get those off of Amazon since they're a little bit cheaper. Um, I did get the black and red duck canvas cotton fabric for the tote bag. So the black one was $12.99 a yard. I got, mm, I wonder if I should get two yards of that just in case. I think I'm gonna get two yards of that and then I got the red one which I'm gonna get two yards as well I hope that's enough um and then I got the cotton belting and strapping I got black I got two yards and I got the red one which is polyester but yeah I have to get a minimum of two yards and then I got this Alexander Henry gold metallic electric premium cotton fabric which was I'm gonna be using for the phone holder because I thought that was really cool. I really like the like um, afro print on it. So I'm getting that and that's $19 a yard, not a yard, so that ended up coming up to $20. I am getting this high fashion purple stripe premium cotton fabric, which I thought would be really cute for like a earphones or like earphone case holder. I thought I like that print. So that I got one yard of that because it's going to be super small. And then for the heart shaped one, if I do decide to do it, I ended up getting a like a Valentine's theme one. I'm just going to get, oh, it's making me get a minimum of two. Okay. I don't know why with that particular fabric, fabric it's making me get two. And then I got this super cool Alexander Henry Pink Girl Talk Premium Cotton Fabric I thought it would be cute it's for like a, um, a scrunchie. So just like a fun print. It's like these lips. And I thought that would just be really, really cute. It like fits my style. So I got two yards of that because I maybe can use that print for something else. It's making me get a minimum of two, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's making me get a minimum of two. I got some more muslin, which... Um, I just got four yards because I can use muslins for so many different things and then I got these other cotton fabrics in pink and purple so that way I can have some type of lining for the phone holder and the earbud case so that's pretty much it for what I got this is my overall total and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and order this stuff so I can get it sent and then I'm gonna order my stuff off of Amazon that I'm gonna need like the zippers and stuff so that way I don't have to worry about this stuff any further and that is one thing that I can go ahead and check off of my to-do list. Damn, I'm gonna let go to hard go outside. I was gonna take y'all with us but my camera battery is going dead. So we'll just talk when we get back in.